Step number one, verify the chart for a written order. It is important to verify the client's chart for a written order before performing bed shampoo, the type of a shampoo to be used in the best time of day for the procedure. Step number two, gather all materials needed. We need inflated calipod, rubber pillowcase, face towel, washcloth, cotton balls, shampoo, comb, and kidney basin as well as bath towel. We also need large pail, pitchers with warm and tap water, as well as a deeper. Step number three, perform hand washing. We have to wash our hands before having contact with our patient in order to reduce the number of microorganisms in our hands and reduce the risk of transmitting disease-causing microorganisms to our patients. Step number four, knock and introduce yourself to the client. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Ako ganit, ma'am. Si Isa Genuesca, ang nurse ka na-assign sa ilalit. Step number five, identify the client and explain the procedures to be done. Ano ganit itong yalan, ma'am? Still, Jane, is that good? Okay. So ma'am, ang himuon na itong sibong sa imo is ibas ang imo mga buhok ma'am kag ishampuhan ma'am para maging komportable ka ma'am kag matinuan imo ulo. Okay ma'am? Step number 6. Get and assemble all equipments at the bedside. Step number seven, provide client privacy. We need to close all sources of drafts in the room in order to lessen the loss of heat from the client through air currents. Step number eight, assess the client for any scalp problem and ask for thinly used shampoo products. Ma'am, pwede ka mo malagtaw, ma'am, imong anit, ma'am. Ma'am, ano ganyan, ma'am, ang ginayusual mga ginagamit na shampoo? Hana. Step number nine, bring the client's head to the side of the bed at an angle that allows the hair to extend over the bed. So, mama, patakilid ka mga ha para mag-ano yung mga buhok mo sa may edge ka bed. Step number ten, protect the pillow with the rubber pillowcase and cover with bath towel. This protects the bed from getting wet. Step number 11. Untie the patient's gown and pull down to shoulders. This protects the gown from getting wet. Step number 12. Place a face towel over the client's chest. This protects the client's chest from being wet. Step number 13. Place the calipod under the client's head.
Comb the patient hair and remove any clips. Step number 14. Plug ears with cotton balls. To prevent water from coming into the ears of the patient. Step number 15. Place damp washcloth over the eyes. This protects the eyes from the shampoo. Step number 16. Place the pail near the head of the bed. Place the free end of calipad in the pail in order for the water to flow into it. Step number 17. Wet the hair thoroughly with water and apply shampoo to the scalp. Water aids in distribution of shampoo suds over hair. Massage the scalp with the pads of a fingertip. Start at the hairline and work towards back of the neck. Massage increases scalp circulation and the use of fingernails during massage can cause scratching of the scalp. Step number 18. Rinse the hair thoroughly. Step number 19. Remove damp cloth, cotton balls, and calipad. Step number 20. Dry and comb the hair.
Step number 21. Remove the rubber pillowcase and bath towel. Step number 22. Remove a face towel and help client put on the gown. Step number 23. Return the client to her proper position. So, ma'am, tapos ko dyan, ma'am. Balik kita, ma'am, sila. Tinat mo na position lang, ha? Okay, ma'am. One, two, three. Ito naman, one, two, three. Make sure that the patient is comfortable. So, kung gusto natin matiyag, ma'am? Okay, okay, ka na, ma'am. Step number 24. Tidy up the place. Step number 25. Document the procedure done.